What's up YouTube? My name is Rahi Moyang and welcome to another vlog. I am currently in Cancun, Mexico on vacation with my family. In today's vlog, we're gonna go check out Market 28, do some free tequila tasting and try some Mexican street food. For all those who are new here, I do travel, food and adventure vlogs. Subscribe to join my YouTube family and hit that like button so more people can get to see this video. Now, let's get into it. My family and I are staying at the Royal Ten Rivera Cancun. It's such an amazing time here with family. It's not only top notch, but it's also very budget friendly through Sunwing Vacations. To know my journey from Toronto to Cancun, check out my previous vlog. It was an amazing flight by Sunwing from Toronto to Cancun. When we checked out from the airport and entered Cancun, guess the first liquid we put in ourselves. Do you guess right? <laughs> Yari! I realize, oh, you turned big woman? Sitting in the seat by yourself? Huh? Welcome to Mexico! Mexico! Are you excited to go check out some local life, some local food? I'm so excited. Are you excited, Kiari? She's so excited. So there's like an accident on the road, causing a little bit of traffic. Excited, Kiari? Turn big woman today. You not in no car seat. <laughs> big woman. She's all over the place. Big woman. Aww. Mexico is tequila central. Literally, we went to market 28 in Cancun, and from the moment we entered the market, we started tasting tequila. All the vendors wanted us to try their tequila. There were so many different types. Hola, welcome to Mexico. Bienvenidos a Mexico, Cancun, Quintana Roo. Welcome. So it's a great place. We can drink tequila, beer, whatever you want to do. Welcome to Mexico. Yes, welcome. With my friend. So we're here in Mexico. This is where you can get the best tequila. What's called? What's your name again? I'm David. David? All right, I David. put a happy him. <laughs> David is gonna make us say some nice tequila today, guys. Okay. All right. Follow him. He's my cousin. Okay. He bring a uh, right. couple. Uh, loco, loco. Let's go check out the tequila. tequila. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Like, I feel super safe here. Like a lot of stuff I've heard about this country. Yeah, it's complete the falls, man. Like, this is the tequila. Oh shit! With a worm? I've never seen that. Oh. Is this tequila? He yeah, said there's mezcal. a worm. Mezcal. There's a worm in the bottle. What is this? A scorpion. A scorpion? Yes. Look here. The there's worm. a worm in the tequila bottle. Yeah. Holy shit. That one is more smoky. It's more smoky? smoky flavor. What does it bring? What does it make the tequila? What, what makes it different by having the uh, scorpion because, and the worm? I've never seen that before. Tequila is made in blue agave and tequila is from Guadalajara, Jalisco. El mezcal is from Oaxaca. It's different. It's different state. Mezcal is, is different pieces. This tequila is from here, from this state, La Cofradia. Tequila, oh yeah? Guadalajara, Jalisco. Oh, that's yeah. where tequila is from? Yeah. yeah. So how, how's tequila made actually? Like, they have to dig it from some... What, what, what is he digging right here? This one is the pineapple. Oh. I give it like... Uh, uh, oh, oh, it's made from pineapple? The, the name is agave. Agave, pero this one is the pineapple. This real pineapple extract tequila, but no pineapple. Pineapple is the name the agave. But I struck with the pineapple agave. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yes, this is the process. This one, I put the last one in the barrels for seven years, and you bring it tequila. Okay, nice. I wanna try a little shot tequila. Which one? The one with the, the scar? Good, the good one. The good one? Big selection, look at it. An amazing selection. Yeah, amazing selection. selection. Oh, yeah. That's nice. First, try tequila. Okay. Second, you try mezcal, right? Yeah, I think I should try the tequila this first. One, 
this one is the name is like the garden no he's like your tequila this is 23 years in the barrel yeah. yeah okay i'm gonna try this one first before i try the one with the worm because i feel a little nervous about trying a tequila with a worm in it cheers guys it's good <coughs> are you okay Strong. Yeah, this one is it's really good. good though. Yeah. It's really, really that, good. You know what? That kind of tequila yeah. is handcraft tequila. But these the are the authentic. That one is authentic. Like, like, this tastes really, really good. Like, you take a picture of the bottle watching Google, nobody has it everywhere. Because I know. it's only in my store. Really this, this guy tried right now is with the worm inside the bottle. The worm. So, so I'm trying the tequila with the worm in it. This is something super new for me. So let me try it for you guys to see how it tastes. Smoky. Yeah. Smoky. Yeah. Has a nice smoky yeah. flavor. This you like coconut? Coconut? Yeah. I love coconut. Try coconut tequila. Coconut Please. tequila? Yeah. Alright, he's gonna make me try the coconut tequila now. Yeah, coconut tequila. Coconut it's really tequila. Good, man. Yeah, it's okay. quite tequila in the fruits. Coconut. If you guys like tequila, Mexico is a place to come drink yeah. some good tequila. Mexico is the number one. Like the best every shot of tequila that I have so far since I'm here, super, super good. Yeah. Amazing. Like, honestly. I need to come live here. I need yeah. to come move here. Like particularly, yeah. it's something different. Yeah. Shina. Shina, Shina, you gotta come try this. Coconut tequila. Coconut tequila. You gotta come try this. He said this is a Mexican Hennessy. Maya Hennessy. This but is Almo. This is like aged tequila. This is like five years in the barrel. Five meets with Almo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because that one is it's this one strong. Is like Sixty proof. Sixty percent. Sixty proof. Yeah. Sixty percent. That's but, strong. Yeah, it's strong, but it doesn't burn. And it's because, smooth. Yeah, because it's, it's strong, but it's smooth. This yeah. one is no chemicals inside. No chemicals. This hundred percent agave. It's super smooth, inside. even though it's sixty percent. It's super, super smooth. Yeah. That one is alabanza. Super it's smooth. Aged tequila. How, how long is this age? That for? was seven years age. Seven years. Yeah. Be careful because the people say in the liquor stores the bottles having like maybe like 20, 25 years is impossible because not whiskey. The tequila, the maximum seven years is impossible. He's telling me that the maximum years that you can age a tequila for in the barrel yeah. is seven years. Seven so don't years. let anybody tell you guys that the tequila is aged for more than seven years. Exactly. You heard it right here, right here in Mexico. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, shit, that's so sick. These are tequila glasses, guys. That's sick. This is the tequila gun. Which one is this? This is passion fruit. The passion fruit? The name is like Calera. This is the Mayan god for the rain. Calera? And, yeah. Oh, the Mayan god for the rain? Yeah, Mayan god for okay, the rain. Nice, nice. Okay, nice, nice. Okay. I feel honored. I respect the Mayan people. Yeah. Like, yeah. Let me try it. Let me try it. All oh, these tequilas are so good. So good. I'm here. It's a black and white. So this is the Mayan technology. Mayan guys. technology. Yes. Take a look. So the shirt changes color yeah, when it goes into the sun. Mayan technology. Good enough. Everywhere in Mexico you go, yes. you can you can get tequila. Like. Okay. This is the, the country tequila. for tequila, the yeah. real tequila. Senorita, lady. I don't know how much shot, more shots I can take. One more shot, yeah. They are so good. Holy. I took almost 10 shots, which were all amazingly delicious. The best tequilas I have ever had in my life. And it was all for free because everyone was giving us their tequila shots to try so we could buy from them. We walked around the entire market exploring, did a little shopping. The vibe and the energy was so welcoming. So we're all here in Mexico chilling. Nice. Such a nice country, like such nice the best. people. The like, best. Yeah, it's the best people that you can ever come across. Like I really like Mexico.
We're, we're um, almost as friendly as uh, Jamaicans. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they are. They are really chill, really cool. All, all we need is uh, j uh, chicken, jerk chicken here. Jer jerk chicken. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. And tequila, eh? And uh, um, tequila. Uh, there and you go. Yeah. <laughs> Look at your furs. Like your hat, Kiari? You like that one better, Mama? He You like it? So it's five pesos to use this bathroom right here. Yeah. Five pesos to use the washroom. We then stopped at Miranchito restaurant. Miranchito means my little ranch in English. Recommend me something authentic Mexican food. Mexican That's what I want. Well, so you have to try Punta Sam. What's that? Beef a la Punta Sam. It's like a pork. Okay. Pork with a Mexican sauce on the top, grilled onion. And melted cheese also. Melted cheese? Yeah. Okay, melted. all right. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna come in your restaurant yeah, and try please. that. Okay. Welcome to your second home. Okay, thank you. Hey, Kiari. Hi, Mama. So, what would you recommend? Oh, I recommend you the Punta Sam beef right here. Punta Sam beef? Punta Sam, yeah. Punta Sam beef. You said that's an authentic Real? Mexican beef, How right? is it? Okay, I'm gonna try that. Yeah. You said that's the best thing on the yes, menu? Yes, sir. Okay. It is. I'm excited it to try some nice If you don't Mexican like it, food. if you don't like it, don't pay. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have that. Planks Punta Sam beef. These tortillas you can prepare nice tacos. Okay, nice. Okay. And the grilled shrimp with garlic sauce, rice and salad. Nice. Please, enjoy your lunch. Thank you. Very well. I had a local dish called Punta Sam, which is pork with grilled onions, melted cheese on top, rice, salad, beans, and handmade tortillas. And Chanel had the grilled shrimp with rice and salad. We both enjoyed these dishes so much. The pork and the shrimp tasted so fresh. I've been eating so many food, still no food poisoning. Good food makes me so happy. Something about the beef in Mexico is really, really good, really rich. It's really, really actually so good. That was it guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog, in next week's video we're gonna go check out the McDonald's, so stay tuned for my vlog next week. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you guys in the next one.